Welcome back to Radical and Relevant, where each day we take a few moments to explore the genius of the gospel, the genius of Jesus and his life and teachings. Remember, we're looking for a word or a phrase or an idea that jumps out at you. Today's reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 18, verses 1 through 4, and verse 10. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And calling to him a child, he put him in the midst of them and said, Truly, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like a child, he is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you that in heaven their angels always behold the face of my Father who is in heaven. What jumps out at you today? It's a lot of... Uh, so a lot of great options here. Who's the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Uh, whoever humbles himself uh, will be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And then the angels, like Jesus referring to the angels, the, these little ones, they're angels. Okay? So Jesus didn't say, hey, there's a bunch of angels up there in heaven watching out over everybody. No, he said, they're angels. He, he personally assigned the angels to the children that he was talking about. Actually, he didn't personally assign them. They were already personally assigned. And, and so the idea of a guardian angel, or the idea that the angels do accompany us, is just, it's just affirmed. It's not, um, it's not like a big teaching. He just sort of assumes that people understand this, that people get this. And you got angels. You got angels accompanying you. You know, and I think sometimes we live in the world and we see the mess that the world is in and and we see the mess that that creates for people's lives. And um, and it's easy to forget that there is a spiritual reality here. It's easy to forget that if there are spiritual forces at play. I think it was C.S. Lewis that wrote uh, that the devil's greatest feat was to get people to believe that he doesn't exist, you know? And like people talk about, oh, the devil's in this or the devil's in that, and he is, I believe that. Um, and most of the planet, though, doesn't believe that evil forces exist. and. I think we need to keep in mind, you know, because we are out there in the world, we are trying to do good in the world, and every time we try to do good, like, there is an opposing force. There is an opposing evil force that we need to break through. That's why there is resistance in us, you know? Sometimes that's the opposing evil force. We need to break through that resistance. Sometimes the opposing evil force is just whatever gets you to procrastinate. You know, sometimes the opposing evil force is just whatever gets you to, you know, watch television instead of doing your prayer or your spiritual reading or whatever else. And so just this little reference to angels today gets me thinking about the spiritual realm um, that is constantly surrounding us that we can be aware of and participate in or can ignore. So as we go out into the world today, let's be aware of, of the spiritual realm. When you're moving through your day, be aware that angels surround you, that your angel accompanies you. And when you're meeting with other people, be mindful that their angel accompanies them. And that while you're meeting with that person, your angels are also meeting with each other. Have a great day. Remember, don't just be yourself. The world says, just be yourself. No, don't just be yourself. Be the very best version of yourself. All that God created you to be.